Hello, this is an example of my new project I've been working on. This is a kind of stripped down, simplified, but nice to use version of my like um, AI NPC and AI VTuber projects. This is like the kind of the, some of the core functionality of them. And I wanted to kind of package it up and let people use it so they can, you know, make cool stuff. Uh, it doesn't include everything from those projects like the text-to-speech or the speech-to-text and some of the other like intricate things because a lot of those use like specific packages that I'm not able to like package and you know release to people etc so those will not be available however if you want to see my implementation of those you can check out my discord subscription and I'm going to start posting some uh, source from my other projects there so you can look at them if you want so in terms of this right now, uh, this is a blank unit project. You just installed the package. And here we have an example profile and then an AI info. So this is where your API key is gonna go. Here's mine right now. I'm gonna re reset after this video. Um, we have the model, you use 3.5 turbo or four or any of the between. I'm just gonna use 3.5 turbo. That's a little bit faster. And yeah. So if we want to use it, just hit create empty for now. Uh, if it's on a character or whatever, NPC base, we'll drag in our info, which is our you know API key and such. Um, I want to make this automatic. I'll probably do it later. Then we have a profile. This is like for each character, you have your own profile. Um, you are very emotional. So this is a, like a, this is an example uh, description of the character. So you even like the name, you know, what they do, who they are, how they act. Um, you are expressive. You only know about the world you are in. And like, and unfortunately OpenAI has things where like, it always kind of tries to fall back on saying, oh, I'm a, you know, AI model, whatever. But in the future, I'd like to add support for like your own uh, types of completion, like not using OpenAI. But for now, this is what it does. If you're very descriptive with your descriptions, I have like a big description. Usually, they're pretty good at following it, and you won't really get a lot of breaks in character. Um, so we have this description. If we want to talk to them now, we can go here and we can add the NPC base script. I already did that. Go, hello. Who are you? What are you doing? You look nice today, for example. And the reason I add you look nice today is because there's also sentiment. So if I hit play, um, we'll go to console and here generated it. it said, hi there, my name is Sarah. I'm an assistant at the Local Adventures Guild. Thank you for the compliment. How can I assist you today? And their sentiment is happy because I complimented them, for example. So they're happy. Um, the sentiment is being generated using another open AI call uh, uh, from the DaVinci model just to like generalize the mood of the current like response that you got. So yeah, um, something I want to do is also uh, get the sentiment for the person talking to the NPC. So then they have context of your emotion as well, which would be good. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. If we want to do something, I don't know if it'll work. It's really hard to get the AI to be sad, but I say like, you look awful today. You need to clean up gross. So if I do that, for example, hopefully um, it'll now have a different kind of sentiment response it will give you. So let's see. Uh, neutral. Okay. So it didn't take it too harshly. Um, I'm sorry. I look awful today. I've been running around organizing. Oh, now I feel bad, but yeah, so that's it. That's the entire project. Uh, if you want to implement this to whatever you need, it's going to be really simple. Everything is just contained right in this object, uh, here, this base script. So you can just grab the, um, you know, the data from it or pass data to it. And there you go.